Seventeen Sunkwon recently took to social media to address fans with a heartfelt letter. In his message, Sunkwon wrote, I don't want to see any more hurt between us. While watching all the events unfold, I've tried to suppress my feelings with the hope that things would eventually pass. Just as I've always done, I kept working hard alongside my fellow members. However, I can no longer just stand by and hope for the fire to go out. I feel I can't remain silent any longer, especially for my loved ones, my fans, and my members who are hurting, as well as for all my colleagues who are working hard in this moment. For some, this may seem meddlesome, for others, it might come off as a rash statement. But still, I'm gathering my courage to speak up. Being a celebrity is a profession I chose, and while I understand that I must endure certain things because of the love I receive, I don't believe it's a job where one should suffer and eat away at themselves to the point of feeling like they're on the brink of death. It shouldn't be that way. I just wanted to do my best and take responsibility for the work I've been given, to repay my fans who love me, and to share the good energy I can in various ways. That does mean there is immense pressure, burden, and fatigue, both physical and mental, that words can't fully express it. Yet, even in this moment, we must carry on. Some of us might try to look at things rationally, while some of us try to smile in optimism, and others endure and cope with the difficulties. I chose this path, so I have to bear the weight of it, but today the reason for that feels truly unfair and harsh. Some days are sunny, and some days are cloudy, today feels particularly cloudy for me. Have there been days when I tried to stay positive? Yes. Have there been days when I tried to smile through it all? Of course. Yet today, it's not easy, and I feel for those who are hurting right now. It frustrates me that I can't embrace everyone. I wonder if my clumsy and hasty words would even resonate with anyone, or if they could provide any comfort. The hardworking colleagues and friends from the K-pop industry, including my members, are people who genuinely love this work with all their hearts. They get hurt because they care so deeply, and sometimes they feel empty from all that love. Yet, each day, they continue to give and receive love for themselves, for their members, for their families, and for their fans. I want to make this clear, we do not deserve to be judged so easily, as our paths have not been the easiest or the smoothest to walk. We have experienced pain, faced breakdowns, and fought to overcome challenges, all to show our best selves to our fans on stage. I hope you won't take idols lightly. You have no right to easily insert yourselves into our narrative. This applies not just to us but to other artists as well. We are not your commodities to be used and enjoyed at will. Just going through a week of music shows drains all my energy. Amid the ads, events, performances, and other schedules, there are many colleagues who greet me with such warmth and big smiles, even more than I can, sometimes. Whenever that happens, I return their smiles and greetings. That is about all I can offer them. When we greet each other with big smiles on our faces, that moment feels precious and meaningful, even if it's just another hello. Even a single line from the messages in the albums written by my colleagues can lift my spirits after a tiring day. All I really want is for everyone to stay healthy and not suffer while working. I really like the challenge culture, too. Whether it's with close friends or strangers, leaving behind a challenge video where colleagues dance together outside of the stage captures such wonderful and youthful moments of our lives. It's beautiful that we get to make even a small memory, and if fans get to enjoy it too, that's even better. Even when it gets a little awkward after filming with someone I don't know, being able to share a small word of encouragement to keep pushing forward makes me happy. If we get to meet up with respect for one another and be a little helpful to each other, that in itself holds meaning and is something to be grateful for. I, too, need to work on this, but I hope we can all become a little kinder. If only we could see each other with warmth in our hearts, support each other, and show love, maybe things can improve a bit. Watching someone break down and eventually let go is something I absolutely hate. I sincerely wish we could stop causing pain that we can't take responsibility for. I don't want to see myself, my members, or all the colleagues who are working hard, as well as the staff who pour their hearts into us, and our fans get hurt anymore. And for the fans who love us even to this very moment, I would like to say that I'm sorry and I love you. From Sunkwon Sunkwon's letter was met with support from both Carrots and his members. Following the letter's release, fans have been left interpreting its meaning. Some believe Sunkwon is addressing HYBE, others think his message is more broadly directed at the K-pop industry as a whole, calling out its treatment of idols and the toxic dynamics between fans who sometimes criticize or drag down the artists they claim to support. What do you think?